All right. Um, let's see. Welcome back. Uh, this is example 10. And so uh, in this example, what we're going to be looking at is uh, finding the arc length of the spiral of Archimedes. Um, and so the problem set us up with, uh, it wants to know from theta equals zero to theta equals uh, 10 pi. And so for the spiral, uh, we know that r is equal to theta. That's what creates the spiral. So that means then that uh, dr, uh, d theta, is conveniently equal to 1. So the arc length then, l, is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 10 pi, the roots of theta squared plus 1, d theta. Okay. Um, if you plug this value in to uh, GeoGebra. You know, what it's going to give you then is a value of something like uh, five times the square roots of one plus 100 pi squared plus one half the inverse cinch of 10 pi, okay. um, which is numerically equal to about uh, 490. 5.8 ish, so and some stuff. Okay, so that's the arc length. Um, so this was calculated in GeoGebra. Uh, setting up the uh, arc length is usually the hardest part. Um, if you look at the, the notes for, for arc length, um, this is underneath the radical is r squared plus dr d theta squared d theta and the integral from alpha to beta again. Okay, so that's what I'm using here to calculate that because it wasn't clear. All right, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.